Peace to the game, peace to the game, and welcome to Quit the Cat Podcast. Peace to the game, peace to the game. Welcome back to Quit the Cat Podcast. Yes, sir. It's your boy BP alongside the Bishop yes, coming to you from Bang Bang Fitness All Center right. here in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Absolutely. And today's guest, ladies yes. and gentlemen, is an actor, yes. a model, yes. a fashion icon. Yes. And, well, I'm going to give him an icon, goddamn. And he's also a motivational speaker. Yes. He is a Philly native. Yes. And he's the coin catcher. Yes, ladies sir. and gentlemen, we have Louis Riley in the building. Hey, what's going on? How y'all doing out there? On, big yes, money sir. Absolutely. Well, Listen, I appreciate you guys having me. Absolutely. Man. Appreciate you for coming through. Hey, this is the place to be. If they yes, ain't, <laughs> if they ain't, ain't, ain't on the map, it is the place if you to ain't be. here, you ain't on and the that's map. 100%. You better know it. So before we get started, we yes. got to do a quick vibe check. Bishop, how we feeling? I'm feeling content. Content? I'm good. Good. I'm good. I'm good. good. I'm growing. That's it. I'm content where I'm at. Amen yes, to that. Let's get yes, it. Sir. Mm. Mr. Lou, how you feeling, man? Oh, man, I'm feeling grateful. Okay. Grateful? I'm yeah, feeling grateful good. right now, man. That's excellent. Absolutely. That's excellent. B? Hey, I'm going to go with glorious. You feeling glorious? I'm feeling Ooh. glorious. Okay. The other G. Okay. The other G. Ah, glorious. Glorious. Yeah. <laughs> so what's up, Lou? We want the, um, because this is my first time being on the opposite end. I'm normally being interviewed by you. No so doubt. Now, I get to interview you, and we want to... For the guests, the, the, the viewers that don't know you, for those that do know you, so that you can go back and give them the story all over if they heard it before. But can you tell us a little bit about you, your upbringing, and what brought you to where you are at right now? Uh, I'm originally from Philadelphia, okay. um, born, uh, mostly raised. Uh, my father, when he got out of the Navy, okay. He uh, received a job here in, in Harrisburg um, starting a ROTC program okay. at John Harris High School. Okay. That's what brought us here. Okay, he started that? Yes. Shut up. So uh, we, we, that's what brought us here to Harrisburg, okay. the ROTC program when he got out of the Navy. And um, that's pretty much, you know, wow. how, how we got here. Wow, that's that's big in itself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah wow, it is. I didn't know that. Not, I did not know that. Wow. Yeah, that's what brought us to the bird. Okay. Okay, so what time, you how, you were how old when you got here? Uh, thirteen. Oh, so yeah. you was already established. So you were yeah, twelve, turning thirteen. Okay, yeah. how was that adjustment from Philly to here? It was tough. It was tough. Yeah, it was tough. It was tough on me because I have thirteen uh, cousins, okay. male cousins. Okay. And the oldest one is only four years older than the youngest. My mom got five sisters, so they was pregnant okay. a couple right. times all together. Yeah, yeah. So. You know, I grew up in an environment where it was always us. My mom and I was always over each other's houses. Okay. As a matter of fact, if any ladies are listening and you have sisters, I'm going to give you something that my mom and them used to do during the summer. Now, check this out. My mom had five sisters, and we all would stay over one of the sisters' house a week. Okay. So we stay over my Aunt Frida's house for a week. But my other aunts, they had off. Mm -hmm. For that week, okay. yeah, yeah, they ain't had yeah, no yeah. kids. Okay. So then we go to my other aunt's house okay. for a week, and then they all they still they had yeah. off. They all had off, and they give they little you know they, they get their little yeah, food, food stamps to whoever the, whoever the, okay. whoever it was that week. Yeah. Get a little food stamps okay. or whatever, and they keep us so. All of my aunts, like, like the village. summer, the summers, they had time off. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? They, they, okay, so that's how they, that's how they did it. So if you okay. got sisters, share that time, you know what I mean? Or brothers, if yeah, they want to get involved too, too you yeah, know what yeah. I mean? And they want some time off for the summer okay. with their significant others, yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. The kids is over here. Okay. And then they ain't coming back for three weeks because they go into Frida's and then they go. Oh, yeah, Judy's, yeah, yeah. so they on tour. Okay, so that's what we okay. did. So when I came here, all of that stopped. Right, so it was just me, no cousins, no, you know what I mean. Yeah. So it was a little bit of a transition, and then also the transition of having a bunch of male cousins. Right, um, you know, you you y'all rock for each other. Yeah. So then when you come somewhere else and you by yourself, right, right. You know, and every and then you try at that age, you're trying to maneuver in. Mm -hmm. Right, right. And at 13, 12, you know, it, the pecking order is kind of already yeah, set. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You come into the class, he's already the guy, yeah, yeah, yeah. she's already the. Yeah, so yeah. you try to fill your way out, and it's like you got to kind of, right. you know, it, it's, it was difficult. Okay. So, yeah, yeah. 
But it worked out though. All right. You know what I mean? Now, now the majority of my real friends are from here. Okay. You know. So, so, so I, I like to I like to tap into passions at that age or growing up. Like, what were some of the things that you were passionate about? That or are they still tied to what you do today? Well, one of the things that really got me the the notoriety and and was easy transition. I, I was I used to rap. Yes, I remember. Yeah. So I when I first came through, I, I was Who got okay. Bars? Yeah, yeah. Who got bars? I ain't know. When I first came. Okay. Oh yeah. So when I first came, you know that was the that was my thing. Yeah, I mean, oh yeah, but you know, my man is nice. Tell, tell him the old rap name. Um, which one? I had a couple of them. Run them down. Uh, Mercy. Mercy was, I, I thought, that's the one I want, but go ahead. The Mercy. <laughs> my first one was, my first one went, when I was back in Philly, it was Chilly Chill. I was from them days. Okay. I was from them yeah. days where you used to wear the hat with the Ron Ski and the Chilly uh -huh. Chill. You know, back so, in the... I'm about to take you, I'm about to take you on a little journey real quick. I'm going to see if you remember this. So do you remember, remember Capricorn Productions? Yes. Do you remember when we went to... Sugar, Sugar Gang, Sugar Hill Studio. Do you remember that? You was with us? I was with you. That's when I first met you. I knew who you was. I remember you rapping. Yep. You was with us over Sugar yep. Hill? Yep. And, and wow. And yes was the producer. Remember, he came in the part. I remember. Yes. Yes. And uh, me, Mr. Akers, we were the Vandals. We, there was three sessions. We, we did. We recorded our album. We recorded our single there. You did your single, and I'm not sure if Deanna came, but I remember. Yeah. Yes. Yes, I was there. Yep, I was I was young. I remember when y'all were in the studio, we were running around Jersey, because that's where we were at. Right. We rode up in the van. Yes. And I cannot remember the song. Wow. At the time that you were recording. <laughs> but, yes, that's when I first met you. We were doing shows. I remember you used to open up. You was one of the headliners, and you... We were making our way. I remember being up there and learning the process of recording the album in the studio. That's wow, crazy. That's, that's crazy. Yep. Yo, that's crazy. Mm -hmm. You was a vandal. Yep. Oh, yep. I remember the vandals. Yep. <laughs> yes, we went up there with this crazy. Yes. That's where I always knew. That's where I knew you as Mercy. I remember that. Yes. That's crazy. I think I, at the time I had to been. Ah. Uh, I want to say 14, maybe mm. 14, 13, 14, somewhere around there. That's crazy, yeah. Yep, that's crazy, yeah. and, and it is because I was just telling somebody, um, because you know I, I host too. Yeah, yeah, yeah I mean yeah, I host, yeah, I host yeah, events yeah. too, and I was telling somebody, you know, um, just recently I kind of morphed into I, I separating myself yes. i'm saying listen don't call me a host all right right, right. Yes. right call call a host a host i'm 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 an mc okay you know what i mean i'm the master of ceremony right. and as an mc yes you know it's a little different yes because you know you know a little more yes than a person who you know what I mean? Yeah. You know if the mic don't work, or you yeah. know what to do if yeah. this don't yeah. happen. Yeah. You know, yeah. you you know yeah. what I'm saying? There's certain yeah. things that somebody else might get froze. Yeah. But if you the master of the ceremony, you put the mic yeah. down. I don't need that. You know what I mean, yeah, you listen, don't get into it. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. It's you. you it's a difference in being an MC and a host. It is. Yeah, I, I, and I'm, I thank you for that education because now I respect there is a big difference. Absolutely, it's a big difference. You know, you know? and I, I, I laugh because I. I I, I tell I told my wife, well, I've been doing this. I've been around. Yeah. People. I've been in studios. I've been around equipment. I've been around that. And I and I was I was like, yeah, that's where I knew you from. And I always, as I watched, and it, it was always the confidence for me. It was the confidence in your approach. Because at that time, I want to say you had at least been 16, 17, Cabroni, a couple. Years, but yeah, you were, uh, and just seeing that confidence and seeing the confidence that they had in you, I remember that that stuck with me, and that was always something that stuck with me about you. I appreciate that, and just the swag and the delivery was just different from what I seen. That's what's up, but you know what? I I, I noticed that about y'all too, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, I notice, I watch you when you, you know, when you, like, my thing is, it's all a part of the, yes. when I see you in the, in the, 
in the gym, you know what I'm saying, and the music's playing, and you know what I mean, you yeah, you yeah. entertaining, you know what I'm yeah. saying. It's the it's the it's, it's still the, the same stage. Yes, 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 yes absolutely. absolutely. And you know, I'm you know I'm still waiting on another album. Oh, man. So you know, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, people. Yeah, I am. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, the flow is crazy. The flow is crazy. That. So yeah. did you give up? Not, not, I know you didn't give up on the music, but do you still write? Do you still compose music? We do. All, I think we will always do that. Yeah, yeah. I think we'll always yeah. do that. I think it's going to always be something that does something to us. Like, I don't know what it is. I might be in the car or something. It's just certain music that I like, certain tracks, yeah. certain beat. And, you know, I find myself putting something together in my head. Yeah, just, yeah. And, and, but it just, you know, that's yeah. what we do. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And it's therapeutic. Yeah. Yeah, it's therapeutic. So, you know, I'll never probably yeah. stop. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you do, you're the jack of all trades when it comes to that. Right. Oh, I like, appreciate I it. I give you that. Like, because you have, it's a natural game. There's so many different lanes. And you yeah. do them all well. Yeah. But, you know, that's true. But, but one thing is it all comes from one, it all comes from being an MC, though. Okay. Right, you know right. what I'm saying. All, even the motivational speaking, because I'm saying you you do that even as an MC. Yes, yes. Like whatever happens, like you know, if some even if something happens at the show or whatever, you like, hey, yo, listen, y'all. Yeah. You know what I mean? That ain't what we came here for. Right. Blase, sure. blase, this, yep. that, the other. So you, it's just yeah, natural. Yeah, 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 you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you, it just, yeah, it's a natural transition, yeah. and you know, I act. Yes. And if you look at any of the, it's natural. Yeah. It's natural. Will Smith. You know what I'm saying? It's natural. Yeah. Cube. Yeah. Yeah. It's natural. Like it's that's the next. Yeah. So all of it is like all entertainment, all, and most of the people that do what we do, if you follow them, they, they kind of do the same thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah You know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? It's all in the same arena. Yeah. Because we do it with our eyes closed. Absolutely. So. Absolutely. Now, he was talking about the confidence. Where was that? How was that confidence instilled in you since a young age? Like, where did it come from? Who, who gave it to um, you? Or was, or was that mom, natural as well? My mom. Okay. My mom was always that person. Right. I mean, I remember one time um, we was just walking down the street and we seen um, something for a basketball, a little basketball thing. And my mom was like, come on, let's go in there. I was like, and what? My mom was like, <laughs> go in here and, you know, and you compete. Like, on the, I was like, and my mom said, boy, you are good. And I was like, uh, she, she drugged me in there. And, you know, we was getting ready to leave. And I was like, all right. And the guy was like, oh, you leaving? She was like. Yeah, we out of here. He said, no, he got to stay. Um, right. Because he's in the finals. And I was like, oh, but I would have never did it. Right, Like, right, that's just right. a prime example yeah. of how she put the battery in right. my back. Like, all my life, you know, I used to, <laughs> dark skin, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, dark skin, yeah, you know, yeah. when you back in the day, you know what yeah. I mean? Call you all kinds of names. My mom used to, I remember she just used to sit me on the couch and just be like, listen, let me tell you something. You know what I mean? They hit me with the black of the berry, sweet of the juice, yeah, and the, yeah, you know, yeah. this, that, and together, and the darker the coffee, the stronger it is, yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? They yeah. just jealous, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. You know, she just always been that person. Okay. And, and my dad is that guy, too. Okay. You know what I mean? So, yeah, yeah from my parents. So, out of, and going back in there a little bit, so out of that many cousins, how did you stick out the most? Like, how did you make your presence? Because I, I feel like with that many kids, we're we're fighting for position of who's who because everybody's back to yeah, back in age. Yeah. So how did that? How was that? Well, of course, in that situation, because it's because we were together all the time, it it was like it's family. Yeah. So you fall in line almost by age. Okay. Yeah, you know I mean, bigger okay. cousin, so so right, right, big brother, okay. big. You know what I mean? You got you okay. you yeah, know yeah, yeah, yeah. you know where you yeah, fall yeah, at. Yeah, 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 absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, you know, she ain't gonna never treat you like yeah, a big yeah, brother. Yeah. yeah. Ever. Yeah. So I'm saying that to say, you know, you, you fall in line. Um, but we all we all have our own thing. Like right. back in the day, like even if my mom and them be down in the basement partying and, you know, they'll tell us come down and um, we'll, we'll, we'll sing, okay. dance. So yeah. we all had our little, little thing. I remember my uncle uh, used to drive a limousine and um, he had us one night and we was going to McDonald's. We got out. They was like, who are them? Because you get out the right, right, yeah, So yeah, we yeah. kids. And we was like, yep. we New Edition. Because they was just fresh. They was fresh <laughs> out. So yeah, I was just like, New Edition. Is that? And my uncle played it too. He was like, all right, y'all ready to go to your car? <laughs> so we had a good time. We just always had fun, yeah. man. Me and my cousins out, you know. Absolutely. It's like my brothers more so. Right, right. Cousins. Sound like the Wayne's family almost. Damn near. Yeah. Damn near, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. we all, you know, like I said, we all got our little little humor, a little this. But everybody One talented. Of them, my cousin, uh, he's a heck of a chef. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Okay. Okay. I, I appreciate you. I, um, 
I seen a video. This was a while, this was a video that I had seen that you had made, and it was very it stuck to me. I liked it. I didn't. Um, I wasn't sure if people really understood exactly what you were saying. It was about the, the morning ritual and part of your morning ritual and how important it was. Because, you know, it get, a lot of stuff gets filtered through there where people really miss. But when it's aligned, I knew that was an alignment for me. That was one of your videos I seen, and it was talking about the morning ritual when you was going through, and then you pulled out the journal. <laughs> that was big for me, and that showed me the sincerity because you knew, understood the power of journaling. Yes, and that sir. Was big to me. Can you elaborate on that a little bit? And what um, that's for you. Well, I do. Um, and this is a free book that anybody can get. Okay. It's called The Man's First Hour. Okay. Right. You can Google it, and they might make you pay for shipping and handling, okay. but the book is free. And it's actually a guide. Okay. Um, it has the prayers, um, you know, different prayers for different things going on in your life okay. and all of that. So um, what it does is um, I get up at 445 in the morning okay. um, and I do the, my man's first hour. Um, it's a half hour of um, meditation. Okay. Um, and then you have a half hour of reading, okay. scripture. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, but within that half an hour, like the last five minutes is reflection of okay. what you read, you sit still and you reflect on what you read. Um, and then it's 15 minutes of physical activity. Um, now that's not saying that's all you need to do during the right, day, right, right. but it gets you, get you motivated, yeah, right, gets you right. moving. You know, maybe it's, for me it's stretching, I'm old. Okay. So, you know, I use that 15 minutes to just get myself right, together right. and stretch out before I go to work. So, um, and then after that, when you come home, um, your responsibility is to actually touch each person Who's in, who are in your life. Now, right, right. you're supposed to talk to them physically, but because the book was written some time ago, yes. in today's day, I don't have to do that. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, I might text, shoot my son a text, hey, what's going on with you? Yes. And he'll shoot it back, oh, Pop, I'm doing this, that, and the other, okay. so on and so forth, working out, blah, blah. And, you know, I just touch them all. Right. You yeah. give them a chance to touch me. Okay. You give them a chance to, you know, because you, if you're the father, if you're the, you know, yes. what's going on? Oh, Dad, I had a such and such day. Yeah, yeah. And then you also give that to your significant other. Yeah. Okay. You know what I mean? You give yes. them an opportunity to pour yes. out. And then then you. Okay. You okay. know what I'm saying? And then you. Yeah. And then you get up and you do it all over again the next day. So I want to, um, meditation, I wanted to go into how was it? I, I'm going I'm to ask this way. Medit in your 30 minutes, because it takes practice to get yeah, to that yeah, yeah. and to be able to get to that stretch how was that transition that process of learning to meditate and getting it to 30 minutes well the book says 30 minutes period so for 30 minutes you you learn you you learn to meditate i think the more you do it yes and, yes. and i'm saying that because when i Absolutely. first when i first started it everything was running through my yes. mind mm -hmm. like it's Yes. You know, Run you don't mind. Right. So yes. you, you the more you do it, the more you it's like yes. anything. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Then you find yourself really, you know, at some point you really actually, you know, Locked taking in. that time to, yeah. to meditate. Yes. Um but yeah, it if it's discipline. Yes. At first you just gotta sit there for thirty minutes and yes. whatever goes through goes through right. whatever you think about right. and then yes. you just kinda keep doing it and keep yes. doing it. So for those that initially and that's a good I'm glad you said that yes. because some people who initially do it, they're gonna think that they don't get it. Yeah. It's not like I'm yeah. not doing it right. Yeah. right. You know, I'm not yeah. I'm supposed to not be thinking about anything yeah. and all of yeah. this is going on. Don't stop. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. Continue to do it and you'll get there. Yes, that's they said excellent. there there's there's power in pulling your mind back. So they say, like, when your mind starts to drift and you pull it back, it's right. like, as you keep pulling it, as it drifts, you start centering yourself. That's helping you to center and then paying attention to what thoughts you have. Right. Like if they're coming from the past or is it something present or is it something future? Because you want to stay within the present and start to lean on the future. Right, right. But when you first start, that past is going to be popping up. Yeah. going to be all types of things coming in there. So that that's a chance to evaluate where you're at and what your thought process is. Right. Absolutely. So, so that was big for me when I seen that segment and just how serious that was. That was a light for me that let me know the direction that you go in the, the direction of your thought process and just how you center your day. 
and I apologize, but I forgot to, the actual most important part that you, you brought up. And then after all of that, then you journal. You yes. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. and, yes. and you journal because you're talking about now maybe the conversation that you had with one of your kids. Yes. You know what I mean? Such and such might need my help with blah, blah, blah. Right. Say, my wife had a good day today, yes. this, that, and the other, so on and yes. so forth at work. I blah, 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 blah. Yes. Doom, 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 doom. Boom. Yes. And then you do it all over again. I found the journaling is journaling is the last thing. Does you that do. just get it all off for you at the end, at the end of the day? Yeah, like whatever is still left. Like I need all that lingering. Whatever still whatever left. Whatever they just gave yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, You yeah. know what I mean? You don't want to internalize yeah, that either it because it that's what we do. You know what I mean? Yeah, Even though sure. it's my kids, you know yeah. what I mean. I, I, it's their problem. Right? Yeah, right. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Now, I can help you and we can see what we yes. can figure out, but it's not my job to internalize it yes, and make it absolutely. mine. So, yeah, when you put it down there on that paper, you leave it there. Talk right. about that a little bit. The, the, the purpose of not internalizing it and making it yours, how important is that? Well, I think it's important because, first of all, if you internalize it, you can't give your feedback from a mm. position yeah. of... You know what I mean? Mm. Not being involved. Yeah. Right? Because if you internalize it now, your feelings are going to get involved yes. as well. Yes. Um, so if you... Uh, the difference in... Like if, you, if, you, if you listen to them, yes. you know what I'm saying? If you listen to them and understand them, and, and, but don't go there. Yes. Like, what? Yeah. Oh, he should have never... Your balls, he... Yeah, yeah, then yeah. now you're in it. Yes. Right. Yes. So I, I think that, you know, you... It's better to just come from a place that it, it keeps it equal where it's not judgmental. I'm not giving you um, casting my parental care. Right, instead, right, right. Instead of looking. So it's like, uh, what they, uh, it's, uh, what do they, it's conscious. They say when you use a, um, it's a mind state, they say. It's a past mind state or an emotional mind state versus a conscious, clear mind state and basically hearing it and being able to analyze the problem without internalizing it, make, taking it personal or making it personal, then that way you can give clear answers, so to say. Now, right along with rap, yes. right? Right along with rap, my, my extensive career in the professional realm is customer service. Right, yes. right. Okay. I can um, see that. Train uh, uh, the whole nine. Yes. Yeah. One of the things I tell I I tell people customer service isn't a job, it's a life. Right. Um, because the things that we teach you in customer service, if you use them in your life, mm. it'll work for you. Yeah. Um, you know, like I tell people all the time, I'm saying, listen, when your when your child comes to you to ask you a question, are you giving them good customer service? Mm. Um, what do you mean? Are you still cooking while you're talking to them? Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? Are you, right. go, boy, you hurt. Yeah. You're not doing that. You better not do that yeah. when I monitor you on the phone with my customer. Right. I need you to put down what you're doing. Mm. Put your listening ears on. Mm. I need you to empathize yes. with their situation. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. I don't need you to internalize it, come on, come on. but empathize yes. with them. You know what I'm saying? And then if you don't have an answer right then, you tell them, I don't have the answer. Right. But I'll get it for you. Mm. Who else are you giving that to other than the people who you clocking in for? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So what I'm saying is if you do that throughout life, mm. right, it's going to help you because the things that they're teaching you is teaching you how to de-escalate the call. Mm. When the person calls in, I got them in. Okay, ma'am, listen, I understand you. Okay. Let me get to the bottom of this for you. Let me. Right. What can I do to help you? Mama, it's it's not that bad, boy. Yeah, it's not as bad as you think it is. You'll be all right. Right, right, right. You ain't yeah. telling my customer that. Mm. That's a fact. Mm. That's a fact. Mm. You dealing with their situation yeah. now. Your kid is going off. You know, mm. uh, walk it off. Mm. Yeah, Whatever we tell yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. So what I'm saying is, a lot of times yeah. the things that people teach you in professional life, okay, if you use it in your regular life mm. it works when i come into when i come into lids mm -hmm. and you doing something and i walk in you don't just keep doing it you address me right right hey what's going on i'll be with you in a moment yeah right so if you kid, anybody like i'm talking it doesn't have to be your kids yes, it, it could be a friend yeah, yeah, yeah. it could be yeah. a person that yes. it's, are you giving good customer service mm. so that's 
And I'm saying that because a lot of times in our professional career, they teach us things that it actually cost them thousands of dollars yeah, to teach. Sure. You know what I mean? When we're when they're training at AT and T Wireless, sitting in that room, they don't realize that your training is actually ten thousand. Their ten thousand. Yeah. Theirs is ten thousand. Yeah. This is a ten thousand yeah. dollar training absolutely. I'm giving you how to handle these absolutely. customers yes, and de and, and bring them down yes. and get them the information that they yes. need to make a great decision on yes. what phone they want. Right. You right. know what I mean? And yeah. these are things that you can use. In life. Yes, absolutely. And they're going to work because it works like that on the mm. phone when you give it to them. Mm. But we don't, we don't shift it. Right. So, you know, that's, that's one of the things that I use as well in, in life. I use customer service because like that's that, my though. profession. Right. That's what I know. And, and it works for me. Um, you know how to de-escalate. Uh, the young guy at my, at, at my job, he was having a situation where, you know, somebody had said something to his lady. You know what I mean? They they, mm -hmm. they complimented her. You know what I'm saying? And um, he was with her, so he didn't he he didn't know how to. And I said, "Man, listen, man. What do you think he looking at? Yeah. What do you think he looking at? That's your lady. Why yeah. is she your lady? Right, right. Like, don't take that personal. He looking at the same thing you looking right, at. Right, right, right. Yeah. So what I gave him was, I told him, I said, me personally, that my thing is this: if I'm in a mall or something, and somebody see. My lady yeah. and I catch them looking, and we yeah. catch eyes. I'm, yeah. you know, I'm doing all right for myself, huh? Yeah. And yeah. most of the time, you know what yeah. they say? Yeah. They right. breathe. They they yeah. come down. Yeah. Okay, it ain't my man. Ain't yeah. tripping. Yeah. They like, yeah, OG, you doing yeah. good. Yeah. You doing all right. Yeah. It just, yeah. I mean, I know what you're looking at. Yeah. That's what I'm looking yeah. at. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Why you gonna ask somebody? Yo, what you looking at? Yeah. Yeah, you already know. You know what I'm you looking know at. The answer. Huh? Yeah. You know what I mean? The, the response is. That's right, right? Yeah. That's me. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> That's all. So I just feel like um, we need to learn how to communicate better. Oh, absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. And stay out of our feelings yeah. initially. Uh -huh. You know, and that's one Big thing in our in our Big culture thing. with yes. us. Yes. Big thing. We 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 get catch feelings, yes. Big and thing. the first thing we'll say is, you know, we disrespect. Don't disrespect me. I just was looking at your beautiful lady. Yeah. Bro. Don't disrespect you. We that that word disrespect in our yeah is crazy. Yeah, everything's yeah. disrespectful in our culture. Yeah, I mean, it's, everything. It's, 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 <laughs> with that, like it's I'm so full. It's so much because our our makeup, even with that, and I think it comes with knowing us as men and as as men. I'm not just black men, but as men. Period. And to understand that men are drawn to shape. We love cars that are. Yep. Yeah, we yeah, love yeah, women yeah, that yeah, are yeah. so. Him not understanding that just shows you where he's at. Mm -hmm. you, you see what I'm saying? Because if you're a man, you know what another man is yeah. attracted to. You know, if I see the Maserati, you see the same thing yeah. I see in the quality. Right. Because that's that's what we're geared to. Yeah. That's the right. if you hear the sound and I hear you, like, oh, that beat. we ain't got the the beats just right, right, it, right. It right. touched us all in the right. same way. So it's like I think, it. we know I think it a is. big part of even with that is the lack of knowing ourselves. Knowing what what makes us, knowing um, our roots, what what we're drawn to. So I think when we're when we understand what we're made of and what we're drawn to and how we're designed, we take less things personally because it, it becomes a thing of understanding more. That makes sense. So yeah, you know, it, it, that to me, when it it shows you where people have grown, where they're at. In the response, your language is your makeup. Yeah. Your language uh, displays your belief. Yes, it does. Your language tells on you. It does. Yeah, you it, does. it tells a lot about yeah, you. So, sir. I think where as we grow and we come to that understanding, we're less reactive because now we're paying attention to the verbiage and the language that's coming from other people, and that lets us know it's not me. This is exactly where you're at. You know, and now that we walk through life with that approach. We'll be able to see because that's why I'm drawn to you. That's why I always was. He, like even through everything, I be like, my boy got the gift of gab. He's yeah, good yeah. at it though. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. drawn because it's, it, it's 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 that like minded thing. It goes without. But you know that language thing that you said and the words that you use, they, they, that's exceptionally important. Right. Absolutely. Um, because I, I definitely I did a video on one, and, and and I'm saying that because my thing is. You're my brother. Yes. You're my brother. Yep. Yes. Yeah. And and it's difficult for me to do something to my brother. Right. 
So if me and you are in, a, even if we're in a hostile situation right, and we right. going back and forth, and I'll be like, look, my brother, yes, you already know where yeah, we're yeah, at. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. But here's the thing, though. If I say, nigga, listen. Mm. It changed the mood. Changed, yes. Changed the whole yes. atmosphere. Because right you ain't there. my brother no yeah, more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. You ain't my brother no more. Listen, so that's yeah, why yeah. I'm just being, that's why I took the word out. Yes. Gotcha. Because I'm being honest. Yes. I could do something to a nigga. Yes. For real. For real. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But my brother, though. Yeah. It's just different even when we converse and even yes. if it go all the way. Listen, brother. Yes. Just the term. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Versus, listen, nigga. Yeah. It's like a sense we, of uh, peace. Yes, 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 yes. So that's why, I, you know, I, I had to learn that because yes. the subconsciously, mm -hmm. Come on. when you call somebody a nigga, you separating them from not being your brother. Yeah, yes. yeah, absolutely. Fact. You putting them in a different absolutely. space, subconsciously in your body. Yes, absolutely. Sometimes your body understands stuff that you really yes. even don't. Right, right. So when you call that person your brother, you yes. know what that means. Yes, yes. So... You know, we're going to work it out, my yes. brother. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. Absolutely. So that's, you know, that's another reason why I took the term out and I tried to make sure that you have to have a grasp yes. of, the, of the words that you use. Yes, absolutely. You have to because you're throwing them out there and it's energy connected yes. to yeah. it. Yeah, yes. So, you know, that's important. So when you said that, I was, you know, it was important that I let, you know, that that's why I don't call, you know, my nigga. Yeah. I don't because I know that if, if I, you know... It could go there, my yeah. nigga. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Absolutely. I, um, I, I appreciate it because I, you see it and you put it out there and you're... So let me ask you this. Is it... Is it hard to stay committed to motivating the motivationalist people? That's how I make that up. Motiv <laughs> Motivationalist? Yeah, like, because they, it, it's like pouring on. So, you know, when you give motivation, motivation, and I, I, I look at it. So, I, I mean, so let, me, let me go here real quick. There's different types. So, I look at it as when I, I don't look at you as a motivational speaker. I look at you as a teacher and a leader in that aspect because motivation wears off because what you do is continuous mm -hmm. you know so i look at you i, I would say transformational okay that's, that's the that's the that's the term i like to use when i see people that speak is it transformation that's a good thing because i had a, a long i have a spiritual advisor named mr thompson and we okay. speak okay. um and and right now the 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 key thing that we're discussing between he and i is the difference between motivation and inspiration yes um, when you motivate somebody, you motive, that's from outward. Yes. You know what I mean? That you know, yes. you telling them. Yes. But when you inspire someone, yes. you touch them inside, inside. Yes. and you trigger something in yes. them to take that work and go yes. forward. Mm -hmm. Motivation only lasts as long as the seminar. Yeah, yep. You yes. know what I'm saying? But as if you inspire somebody, yes. then you know you teach they them to tap away. into them. Yeah, yeah. So that's the difference. Um, in in reference to you know what he was saying. To me, you know, being a motivational speaker and an inspirational yes. uh, individual. Yes. So, and, and I think that you, I think that you can be both at the same yes, time. Absolutely. It depends on who the people are there. Yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? A person can get motivated and motivated it and keep coming, going. keep yeah. coming back until you get inspired. Yes, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Motivation can carry you so far, yes. but you know that might kick you in. That 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 little rush that you get yeah. when you leave yeah. out of there yeah. might kick you into yeah. inspiration. Yeah. So you know. The motivation that gets you going, pain will stop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah. If you don't realize what pain is, yes, yeah, absolutely. Because pain is growth. Yes, it is. It uh, is. So, and, it, and and that's what I teach. I have to, I have to really pinpoint. If it doesn't, not break you, but if it doesn't challenge your mind or challenge your body, it's not going to change you. Right. Anything that is acceptable and easy to do, it doesn't change you. If it's if I give you and tell you to. Do something that you always do, that's not going to shape you. That's what you do. So I got to give you something that's different from what you're used to. It's still in your, realm, in your realm, but it's just uncomfortable and it's different. But I know once you grow to that, it's going to change you. And it's crazy because they have to keep doing that, though. They have to keep doing that until it becomes 
habit. Yes. Habitual because if they don't, they're gonna go right back yep. to what they do. Yep. And I tell my son, my son, he balls. You yep. know what I'm saying? So I tell him we go to train and we go here, we go there, we go there. But for a while we were going places for him to train, but when he got on the court, he had the same game. Mm. So I'm saying mm. to him, you know, mm. when you go to the Y and when you go here and when mm. you go there, you are just playing to win. Yes. Right. That's not what you go there for. Yes. I don't care if you win or not. Incorporate that into yes. your bag. Yes. Keep doing it yes. until it becomes natural yes. like the other stuff you yes. do. Because the other stuff you do when you get on there now, it's natural. And that's why it's your go-to yes. because you're good at it. Yes. But at the gym, work on that even yeah. though it's going off your knee. Yes. Even yes. though it's going. Yes. Even though you can't get yes. that up. Mm -hmm. Keep your form mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You might not be able to get that much weight. Yes. Yes. But just keep your form right, and then we'll keep adding the weight. Yes. Right. We'll keep adding the weight to it, and the form will be right. Yes. So that's all I'm saying. you got to keep doing it until it becomes a part of your every everyday game, yes. everyday workout, yes. everyday. So. Oh, my God. Why was I about to go there? I'm, let me stay where I was going. <laughs> I want you to go there. Man, take man. it there. Take on. it there, man. That's what we're we at. I didn't know. That's why people run to the church. Because it's easy for them. It's mm. nothing challenging. That's why they're so packed. Like, if it was something that was challenging that you need, that's coming against what you're used to. Right, right. It's ain't, a little ain't bit nobody showing up. Ain't nobody it's showing up for that. I just use that as a reference because we run to what is acceptable to us. We want to be in there because it's easy for us. This is where I get the, it, it. It's not challenging. People not, like... I don't. Want, I have people that come here, but when they see what it is, I know they're not up for the challenge. But they don't understand that. That tells me so much about yeah. their life. And for us, we run to what's comfortable. That's why there's no shift and change in the people because everything has to be comfortable. Everything has to be easy. So here's the flow of people where you see the certain percentage that do the hard things. Versus those that do the settling yeah. things. And now we have social media things that we can just pacify ourselves and, and find a way to make it, oh, I'm okay to be this, 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 right, this. Right, and right. It's challenging to right. change because now I have a platform to be mediocre. I have a platform it's, it's to do a lot of those, the unhard thing. And I, I make it okay. Like we make justification platforms for not arising to the to the. The occasion, right, like, right? So now I feel that if you don't focus, you get lost in these comfortability spots, and there's no growth, and then you, you get look lost up quickly. You're 50. You get lost quickly, you absolutely. See? And everything was just a mirage yeah. for social media, but nothing there was really no change of growth in the person. And when you said about people running to the church, that's it's that's the misconception is that. God's gonna do it. Yes. Right. Yes. And yep. you know, you, yep. you you don't have to do any yes. work. Yep. So they run there and they pray. Yep. You know, and they think like they're gonna wait the bang. Yep. And it doesn't they don't realize that even with my my and I'm talking about my high power. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. Um He gives you opportunity. Yeah. That's it. That's what it That's is. It. He don't give you nothing. He gives you opportunity to go get with, yeah. you know, so you got to put that work in yeah. and you might have to put in yeah. more work than that person. Ooh, and it's, really and yeah. it's not going to be easy. Yeah. It's not going to be easy to get to that. And I saw something on, on online. I don't know if you guys saw it um, where a young lady or I don't even remember if it was a young lady or a young man, but they were saying that, um, you know, he asked God for strength. Mm. Yeah. So what God gave him was some problems yep. in his mm -hmm. life. Yep. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. I asked yeah. God yeah. for this, yeah. and, and what He gave me was that. Yeah. To, you know what I mean? Yeah. To get blah 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 blah. Yeah. So you know, in order to get stronger, how you think you're gonna get stronger yeah. without right lifting some weights real Listen. quick? Ooh. Yeah. So you pay you pay for strength, and then when you get side wiped, yeah. you you break that. No, this is the time for you to get yeah. stronger. Yeah. This is yeah. this is what you asked for. I'd be like God, I don't need no help. I got this. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so when 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 we ask God for things, yes. I think that they that that individuals think that it's going to come. Yes. You know. Right. In in the form of roses and flowers. Yes. That's what everybody thinks. And, and it's not. You know. You want a new car. Um, okay. So you want a new car. So when your car gets repoed, you thinking that it's a bad thing. Yeah. But then three months from now. 
you get a brand new joint and you like oh, da, 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 and it's mm -hmm. better than the one you had. Right, right. You 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 missed the disconnect. Mm -hmm. You ain't even looking at mm -hmm. what you asked yeah, for now. Yeah. Cause yeah. But here's your new car three months later. Yes. Right. And it's better than the one you had. But you concerned about that journey to there where you didn't have a car and you had to catch the bus and you had to do this yes. and that. Now understand that was a whole part of the process. Yes. Because in order for you to get a better car, you're gonna have to do different things. Mm. Yes. So I might have to take that job from you yeah. in order for you yeah. to get a better mm -hmm. car. Yeah. So that now you be on unemployment for however long, but bang, you land a better job. Yeah. Now you got a car. You a better car. It but it's too. four it's, it's five months later. Yeah. 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 You done lost your job, yeah. lost your car. Yeah. You got a better car though now. Yeah. But see, we won't look at it like that. That won't be a blessing in our eyes. It'll be I had to grind, I had to Right, right. But that's a part of the journey. Yeah. yeah. That's what he wanted for you. Yeah, you gotta grind. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta grind for your blessings, man. You gotta grind for your blessings. I think it so let me ask you this, because I mean I'm I'm gonna ask this question because there's no wrong question I always say. Just so we have clarification. You believe there's a difference in meditation and prayer, and what's the difference that you feel from meditation and prayer? Okay. Um, I think the difference in meditation and prayer yeah. is your belief. Okay. Um, I think that's the difference. Now, I'm going to say this. Um, I've gotten to the point in in my in my in my belief, yes, that what works for me works for me. Yes, um, you know, if you like what you see, yes, then we can discuss it, right. and I can tell you what it is that I do. Um, but my main thing is, let me use this analogy. My main thing is to get to Philadelphia. Okay, right yes. now, if you coming from Jersey and I'm coming from Harrisburg, we're gonna take different routes. Right, yes. right, right. But if you get to Jersey. And I see you there in Jersey, then that's fine with me because I know pe it's people that believe what I believe. That's that's assholes. Yeah. Absolutely. And it's people that that's don't true. believe what I believe that I would rather be around. Right, right, right. right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They they're in Philly. Yes. Yes. They made it to Philly. Yes. This person that even they didn't make it. Right. They they still not serious about what we yes. believe. Yes. Right, right. Um, so I'm saying that to say. I need to see God in you, okay. um, divinity in you, yes. peace in you, yes. um, and that means that whatever you're doing is working for you. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So I, I think that you know it just depends on what you need in your life. Yes, that's going to work for you. I, I, I just ask that because that's always uh, I, I ask because I feel like the misconception of prayer is. People's always asking for something. Like people go into prayer asking for something, and I feel like God, prayer. I, mean, I feel bit. like meditation is releasing, so to say, because when meditation, you're. I, I like to say cleansing yourself because there's not no request. Right, right. And you can have no request in prayer. You can pray gratitude, being thankful. Like it's I was like, going to say that. Yes. So, you know, I feel like that's the difference for me. Like, I, I do both. I believe that there's a separation in both. And, and my prayers are more of gratitude because in meditation, I'm manifesting. Mm -hmm. So it's already coming to, to me through my meditations because I'm pulling and now in my prayers, I'm giving gratitude. I'm giving thanks to God. Whereas this is just not just me centering and focusing on myself. But over here, I am giving gratitude and thankful for the things that are coming, feeling these uh, emotions and feeling and, and thankful because this is what I manifest in my meditation. Mm -hmm. So now that I feel that emotion and I know that it's done, I go over in prayer during the day or just doing things and my kids and uh, my groups and stuff. So I, that's where I pray because now I'm given gratitude because it's done. That makes sense to me for what you advocate yes. and what you believe. Yes. Um, but somebody else might just be straight into spirituality yes. and not have that entity that they yes. call God themselves. Yes. Yes. So for that person, you know, it, yes. it's going to all be one one yeah. thing, but I, I, I definitely understand yeah. that because in what you advocate, you know what I'm saying, you, you, 
it's important to give thanks to yeah. to the Creator for what He's yeah. given you, yes. or you know, yeah. it's going to start <laughs> diminishing yeah. Yeah. if you don't appreciate what. So that's very important. Yeah. I think that in, in it's in Christianity and in those that advocate whatever it is that yeah. you advocate. You know what I'm saying? You, I think that it's important. Yeah, because the Bible says meditate and it says prayer. It's, it's in right. there. It's, it, it got you, Jesus used the interchangeable, like and He let you know it's, it's a difference. Yes. you know, it's a difference where you're. You know, it, it's for whatever season or where you're at, because some places you're just going to have to be still, you know, and and that's, that's and wait. Yeah, that's it. That's that's tough. That's it. So that's why when I seen that part from you, that was the spark for me. When I seen that video, that was the connection for me. That like because I, I'm that type of I, I I don't bid on Facebook much. I post and then I bounce. But I seen that from you and I was just like, oh. Now I've done the man's first hour before, mm -hmm. right? I've done it before. But what what happened? What happened um, is you know one of one of my sons was my son was going through a little rough patch, um, just in regards to making right decisions. Um, so uh, you know I was like, what can I do? Yes. What can I do? And I said, mm. and it that's what brought me back to it. Okay. Um, so I was like, you know what? Hey, my man, I got a book for you. Right. I mean, this is what right. we're going to do together. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, boom, I cracked it. I gave it to him and we started doing it together. Okay. And, and, you know, I wanted to try to get his mind right before he went out the house and okay. so on and so forth. And, and it, it, it worked. Okay. Cool. And it worked. You know what I'm saying? And it worked. It worked exceptionally well. You know what I mean? So, you know, yeah. that's what got me back into the man's eye because I had, I did it, and you know, I'm going to use working out. I did it until I got the body I wanted. Okay. Right. <laughs> and then I was done. So how was that when you was done? How, how, what was the shift and how was life for you in between there before you came back to making it consistent again? Uh, in hindsight, rough. Um, now looking at it in it, you know, but looking back, I'm saying, okay, if I would have been waking up doing this, doing that, getting my, blah, 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 this decision, I probably wouldn't have done. I probably would have did this and that, but because I would have been in the right focus frame yes. of mind and I might not have dealt with this person, mm. um, he, she, or whatever, yes, yes, because, right, yes. you know, it's important to be evenly yoked. Yes, yes. You know what I'm saying? So if you're not in the right frame of mind and you don't have your thing together, yes. then you're not going to require that mm -hmm. of somebody that yes, you're dealing with. Yes. So now you find yourself in a situation with a person that yes. you might not have never been in a situation yes. with. And, you know, that can be crazy. Yeah, 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 so yeah, yeah. all of that, um, you know, I, I, in hindsight, look back like, man, you know, if I would have been on my, on my thing, you know what I mean? Right frame of mind, right. journaling. Right. Even through the journaling, yes. you know, you say, hey, man, maybe this ain't working out. Yes. You know, because this happened to happen, you know, and I, you know, we might need to have that conversation. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. I'm looking at my journal now, yeah. it's like yesterday and then two days yeah, ago, I was going through it, then yeah, three days like, ago. Yeah, you know, so pattern. Yeah. But you get that through journaling yeah. and doing all that. So I you know, yeah. I definitely I, I won't stop. Okay. I, I won't stop now. Okay. You know what I mean? So So, so it's 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 you, you it's full fledged. Yeah, it, it's full fledged because I mean it, it. For me not to do it, I would be self sabotaging yeah. because I know it works for me. Right, right. You know what I mean, yeah, right. I know it works for me. So for me not to do it, it would be crazy. Okay, okay. Let me ask you. Uh, I always ask. I need three. Uh, I need three books. The man's first hour. Okay. Uh, this is a good one. Uh, powder. Okay. Powder. Yes, it's a movie too. Yes, I remember. I remember the movie. And it's about. Well, if you remember the movie, then you know what it's all I about. The, the connect. The, yeah, yeah. You know. Okay, so. Me order, but go ahead. I got you. Okay, so. and um. What's my third one? You know what? 
I'm going to give you this one. All right. Charlotte's Web. Okay. Oh, okay. Charlotte's Web. Okay. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Now, listen. If you get a chance, go back and read it. It's a lot of things in there, life lessons and all of that yeah, that they're I'm, teaching. I'm, I'm, I'm running it through my head now. Now, I'm, as a grown-up, right? Yes. I go back now and when I'm watching cartoons. Yes. I see it different. See the message. I see it. I see it different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm looking at it now, and I'm like, okay, they were really trying to teach kids how to be better people. Yes. You know, like such and such fall that. You know, I watch Bill. I watch uh uh uh, Fat Albert. Yes. Now I'm looking at Fat Albert. And that's that's all lessons. Yes. It's all lessons. I remember Lisa. Why you got them bruises on you, Lisa? Yeah, yeah, her parents yeah. was beating her. You know what yeah, I mean? Right, and all that. Right, you know, right, like yeah. it's just you look at them things now, and yeah. you're like, man. Okay. Yeah. Schoolhouse rock. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah. yeah. I mean, it's a lot of stuff out there when you revisit it yes. as an adult. Yes. You actually get the message. Yes. With a different mind. So if there's if anything you could tell the viewers, what would be something that you would tell them or something that you would give them that they can take with them? Um Start your day off in the right frame of mind. Check in sometime during the course of your day. And at the end of the evening, evaluate your day. Okay. Now, whatever you do in between there, I don't care if you're Christian, pre like whatever you need to do, get your mind right in the middle of the day, right. in, the, in the morning, whatever you do. Yeah. And then... You know, we all, if you're at work or whatever, you get a lunch. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just take that moment to, you know, bang. You know what I mean? Okay, what's, you know, how was my morning? You know what I mean? Damn, I shouldn't have talked to my supervisor like that. Check in. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then at the end of the day, whatever goes on, whatever you got going on, when you sit down before, you know, when you take your shoes off, <sighs> mm -hmm. what am I grateful for? What could I have done better? Yes. And I think it, everything else fits in there. Yes. I appreciate you, man. Hey, I appreciate man. you, good brothers. Hey, man. I do, man. I needed this today because you know, I, you know, I came in this, it came in yeah, in a little yeah. bit of a. So this is just, this is helpful, man. I'm leaving in the right frame yes. of mind, man. I needed that because you know I was crazy yeah. about my baby girl. Yeah, you know I mean, so absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This was amazing. That's what's up. Yeah, listen, this is amazing. Tell them where they can find you at, though. Oh man, so you they can, can get some more of your your energy, your spirit, that motivation. Listen, um, Lewis Riley, um, you know, the third, uh, yes. Instagram, uh, uh, tweet, uh, uh, everywhere. I'm me. You know what I mean? You just got to look my name up. YouTube, um, the whole nine. You know what I'm saying? And, and and my thing is, you know, we can do this journey together. I never look at, you know, me, me arriving where I'm at. Yes. When I first started my 365 videos in 365 yes. days, I was letting people know, like, let's do this journey together. Okay. Like, I'm right. not talking to you. I'm talking with you. Right. Okay. You know what I mean? We are doing okay. this because I'm not there. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I got a long way to go. Okay. We. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So you're being accountable to your videos? Absolutely. I, I you know, I'm not that guy. You know, you, you, you. No, yeah. my thing is, listen, this is what we, we need to blase, blase. Yeah, blah, blah, yeah. Cause right. we. Now, check this out. My videos started, I want to just say this real yes. quick, because yeah. my spiritual advisor, he was like, listen, man, you got to you gotta talk to you. You got to separate yourself. You know, so he had me in the mirror. Yes. You know what I mean? Listen, man, what's going on? You know what I mean? You got you you better than that. Yeah. Blah blah blah. You know so I'm so and then I was talking to him. I was like, man, it's crazy because I separated myself and I'm not. I'm talking to me, but I'm not me, right. and I'm giving myself, right. giving it to myself. And he was, I was like, man, it's crazy because some people, other people might need it. He was like, well, do it. And that's how it started. It started with me talking to me. Yeah. yeah. And then I decided yeah. to talk to me through the camera yeah. and bring everybody yeah. else in. Um, not. Me waking up feeling like I'm better yes, than everybody yes. else and talking Absolutely. to them. it's a, it was it's just a journey that it was a personal conversation that yeah and, and, and every step ain't forward yes some of them is backwards yes. and some of them is to the side yeah you know what I mean but you know you stay on track My, man, man, good stuff. <laughs> absolutely I like you, man I, like I fall you. short man we you know all what I'm know, saying? Man. yeah 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 I want to put that out there yeah absolutely. you know absolutely. But you make it look good, though, goddamn. I appreciate so, you it. You know what I mean? <laughs> I appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? Without we absolutely, we absolutely appreciate you coming through, man. And uh, I think we about to get up out of here.
No doubt. You know what I mean? This has been another you. episode of Quick yes, Cat Podcast. Yes, sir. It's Absolutely. your boy. Yes, sir. We had the coin catcher. Yes, sir. Lewis Riley the third yes, editor. Yes, you know sir. what I'm saying? And yes, the building kicking it with us. All we right. hope you enjoyed this interview. Make sure you tune you catch us on Anchor. You catch us on YouTube. Google Music everywhere. I ain't going to yeah. go through the whole thing. Yeah. I like to, but I'm not. Uh-uh. But we're about to be out. What? Can I do one thing? Yeah, yeah do your thing, do your thing. Listen, I'm going to thank you for sharing your time with my time, making it our time. Mm. Dig me? There you go. <laughs> there you close and we're going out on that. Right. Hey. Hey. Peace of the game, peace of the game, and welcome to Quit the Cat Podcast.